Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. I am Tathagat Satpathi from Dhenkanal Angul constituency of Orissa. I am a Biju Janata Dal member of the Parliament Lok Sabha, and this is my fourth term. And uh, I am happy to see that uh, finally the lawmakers are being reduced to executives and are being questioned on what they have done. Uh, physical uh, assets they have created in their constituencies. Uh, we are no more interested in policy making. We have left policy making to the bureaucrats and we are supposed to build homes and roads and uh, other things. So I have done that also. I have, uh, I am happy, I am content that uh, in these uh, uh, four terms or rather this five year term I have got this MP lad fund for only four years the current financial year I have not yet received my uh, MP lad fund so in the past four years I have created more than 200 uh, uh, Mahila Karmashala women's work places uh, which are buildings with toilets and these are located in interior villages where women can safely access uh, the place can um, make uh, whatever they want like papad or put uh, sewing machines and can make it their workplaces so young girls and women do access it and I am happy to also uh, assert here that I have gone to many of these places over and over again and I find that uh, they are being properly utilized and some of them don't even allow men to enter their workplaces which is fine by me the, <coughs> the second thing <coughs> That um, the second thing that uh, I have also uh, uh, achieved, although to a much smaller scale, is in Dhenkanal district I have had to use MP Lad fund, and in Angul district I have had the advantage of using district mineral funds. And with uh, these two sources of money, what I've done is I have set up solar powered drinking water projects, which are small in size and they are compact. You don't have uh, pipes being laid out uh, for long distances and then maintenance becomes difficult in those sort of projects. These are small projects where a bore is done on the ground, say about 300, 350 feet, then a deep water, uh, uh, a submersible pump is put into it and that pump is powered by solar uh, power with uh, solar panels above ground and there is a water tank which is placed at a height of 15 or 20 feet on uh, iron girders and that gives the G the gravitational push to the water and people can collect water from under that project from under that uh, uh, water tank and uh, these uh, such projects in both the two districts I have completed about uh, a little above 50 but less than 60 uh, numbering less than 60 but these are also very successful because I am grateful to the women of the villages who have uh, painstakingly taken care to collect some token money from the households who take water from there, spend that money to clean the, uh, keep the place clean, to maintain the area and to maintain the solar panels also. Uh, apart from this, for the youth, I have built some uh, gymnasiums, not many in numbers, but I think about, about numbering about 10 in uh, blocks such as uh, uh, Angul, uh, Kamakhyanagar, uh, Dhenkanal Sadar, um, uh, Hindol. Hindol, I have funded a small mini stadium also. Uh, uh, drinking water projects have been funded in Pallada, in Kaniha, in Angul, in uh, Udapada, in Dhenkanal, uh, in uh, Bhuban, uh, in Gondia. 
so there's drinking water there's working uh, work places for women and also a few uh, lift irrigation points these are not newly created lift irrigation points because those are very expensive and mplad fund is not that much of money really but uh, rejuvenating defunct lift irrigation points uh, that i would have done around 25 26 of them the numbers sound uh, very small but the beneficiaries are quite a few because one lift irrigation point working can actually supply water to uh, depending on the size of the land and how far it is located it can give water to around uh, 30 40 farmers with smaller land holdings who would normally not be catered to by larger irrigation projects planned by the government so every five years i have had focus areas and this is the kind of work i have done and uh, i'm happy that uh, there's been some small but tangible uh, change in the lifestyle of people whom uh, who have uh, bothered to uh, reach out to me and ask me for things